Wish I had a bucket. What was the whole story? Like, what all happened? Because I know you... Well, I was paying rent. Yeah. Remember? And then... Sure. Okay, and every time I give him money to pay rent every month, what uh, would happen uh, was he was turning around using it for drugs. Sure. Cut it back this way a bit. Watch the pole on the right. There you go. Take it real slow though. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're good. Right there. Yeah, maybe go another foot or two. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it back more. just a little, a little more. more. A little more. Right there. Alright. That's good. That way you don't gotta walk. Dude, if that gets over there. Oh, that is just your oh, golden. That's perfect. There you go. Right, awesome. Pull back up. No, you pull back up. Grab. <laughs> ain't no fucking ice skating ring. Come here. Pull I, I know you did ice skating. Okay, um. Dave, come on in, guys. Yeah, yeah, there come on in. That's cleared. Everything is, there's nobody in there. Clouds of dust come off in there. Ready? I'll come behind it. I'll set up the camera in a minute. Thank you. Okay. Are they rolling? Yeah, it's good. Go in. You want to take the pictures? Thank I gotta you. get you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy mess. You got it? Mm -hmm. I'll set up outside. Good. Yeah, some uh, quality records you might want to check out. This is... You can't even wipe off the dust. That's how thick it is. Let me see. Uh, We're going to get this big furniture out the front room first. If we stay here. Look at how covered with dust that stuff over there is. Um, shine that light on that shelf, man. Look at those albums. Give me key also key I ain't even stuck down here and gave you a motherfucker key my shit down there too. Did y'all get that floor in there? With that with that what wood about to fall in? Well we have to go back up that way. But I'm just getting the uh the bathroom walk right now. Because Keita said she was gonna give me her key, I was gonna move my stuff over there. It wasn't no and it wasn't disrespectful and I wasn't if you took it like that, I apologize. But I'm trying to see why my neck to keep keep coming off, you know. Okay. Uh, 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 well, how many times have you walked? I didn't say you had no problem with me going in the basement. Uh, come on, mom. I never said you had no problem with me going in the basement. Because the way you call me. Why bam get a key? I said, why bam got that key? And, and we can't get in. Is there a door at the uh, kitchen? Yeah, there's a door at the top of the steps there. I'm probably gonna have to switch locks and put uh, two locks here. Probably two. gonna have to put a lock here at the kitchen and the uh, bathroom door. 
Oh shit, yeah. What was, I mean, what was the whole story? Like what all happened? Because I know you- Well, I was paying rent. Yeah. Remember? And then, sure. okay, and every time I give him money to pay rent every month, what uh, would happen uh, was he was turning around using it for drugs. Sure. So it comes to the end of it, then I see an eviction every three months. Mm -hmm. So that's when I go and drop the $2,100 or the 1800 and you guys take, yeah. and you know what? Because it would be I'm, like three months of rent is what you're saying. Yeah, so you, you see what I, if you go back and look at the paperwork, I was, I was doing it because Katie, the one that, you know, Katie and Rob, mm -hmm. uh, Katie went and got a five year restraining order on him. Mm -hmm. Cause I guess he was obsessive or whatever, but I've known him since I was little. So I'm like, all right, let me, I had nowhere to go. I mean, you would have to because there's no window there on this one. Bucket. Hmm. Just a day in the life. Just not a lot of change. <laughs> Hell yeah, not a lot of change. This is what it looks like when you don't pay your rent, man. Like, like I said, it's unfortunate, but uh, you know, this is the business that we do. This is what we do, folks. It's a full set of prop belongings. Why did he, well he should have formed everybody. He ain't the only one living in this building. Exactly. And I'm not coming at you. I'm not talking to you, man. I the problems would be easier with my family here, but I have less problems with you today. I'm just trying to see why my stuff keep going on and on, cooking on and on. Yeah. No, no, go, go on, go on, please. Cause you can't tell me what the fuck to say out my mouth. Cause you always want to yell at me. Shut the fuck up talking to me. Excuse me, gentlemen. I mean, it was good enough when you all lay in your head and didn't have nowhere to fucking go. Uh, excuse me, what's no, here? I... When you were laying and not eating food and taking showers, you don't have nowhere to go. Now where are you guys at now? Everybody wants to sit around and watch mom do it? Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Like, <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. How old's this guy? Oh, oh, he's one. Yeah, he was at daycare. Um, I don't usually send my kids to daycare. Um, Thursday, he went to daycare. I didn't send him Friday, didn't send him Monday. Tuesday, I went, you know, I'm a nurse. So they, um, the lady's like, can you check this little baby out? You know, I think she, the mom said she has a yeast infection. I was like, well, the mom best feeds, whatever. That's comical. That's normal. But then I seen little bumps on her. I said, no, she has hand for her mouth. Mm -hmm. So not even that next day, I go to take him to daycare because he didn't have nothing. You know, and mom's. I'm like, get documentation, make sure that's what it is. And I looked at him this mor in the morning, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So I took him to the doctor, and I'm like, he's got to have put him out. Here's your documentation, I'll get the daycare clean and get them the fuck out. You know, point blank period. Sure. That's contagious as hell. Well, only within children. Sure, sure. Because yeah, we're, we're, we can fight the virus off. We yeah, can fight. Start stronger immune system. Exactly. That's what I said. So within these, like, I'm like, he's got it on his feet. And I'm like, you know, it's just bullshit.
everybody's like, don't want to deal with them. I'm like, you guys got me fucked up. So we're just going to sit in the truck and in the cars and just watch mom do everything <laughs> and hold the baby at the same time. Okay. All right. Well, you got, you got two hands, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Why not? <laughs> Mom's a miracle. She can fucking do everything, right? <laughs> I'm like, seriously, let me go do the washer. I need an Allen key, though. <laughs> The one that, you know, Katie and Rob, mm -hmm. uh, Katie went and got a five-year restraining order on him because mm -hmm. I guess he was obsessive or whatever. But I've known him since I was little, so I'm like, all right, let me, I had nowhere to go. Let me help you, Blase. My mom just passed away, you know. So I'm like, okay, not knowing the situation I got myself in. Mm -hmm. So then I said, okay, I called Lego Cops. Get the fuck out. And that's when I walked up to you guys and I talked to you guys and uh, the lady at the desk and everything and let them know, like, you know, I'll take over. Well, they said he had, a, um, I'll take over as long as the lease is in my name. Well, what she said is, uh, I said, I can afford the 750. They're like, oh no, 895 with deposit. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, well, that would have been different. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, then I can't, I can't afford it. You know, so, huh? Well, I think that's true. So then therefore I was like, well, if he doesn't take his name off the lease, then I don't know because they, you wanted him out there saying that I take responsibility or something like that. He never did, so hey, I got screwed. Mm -hmm. You know, point blank period, bottom line. So, I mean, there's nothing I could do about it. You know, I would have paid it. I would have took over the 750, kept it going, and you know, maintained, and I painted the walls. He did all this shit. I'm like, you know, that the car couldn't move the Sentra mm -hmm. because I was in an accident, mm -hmm. so I had to get investigated and all this stuff. You know, mm -hmm. so um, after that, then. Um, I'm like, well, I could get towed out of here or pushed out of here, but uh, he's like, well, that's his BMW. I said, I got all the paperwork in the car. You want it? But what were you going to do with it? That's how bad it was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, literally, that's how bad it was. I'm like, like, what kind of drugs are you on, dude? I could see somebody smoking pot or something, but when you're stealing from people and yeah, stealing. Yeah, sure. You're you know, it, your it's habit. worse than that, dude. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I have 11 kids, you know, and God, don't take from me. You know, I'd help anybody in a heartbeat, but. Those ain't even our table. Like. It might be yours now if you want them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.